New tonight at 10 o'clock, K8 News has obtained body camera and surveillance footage from the night an off-duty Truman police officer shot and killed a man in Monette. The shooting happened Sunday, February 11th at a home on County Road 506. According to the Craighead County Sheriff's Department, Monette officers were initially called to the scene due to a domestic disturbance. Truman Police Officer Brett Williams was placed on leave after he shot and killed Stephen Hunter Allen. After an investigation, the prosecuting attorney decided Williams' actions were lawful. We've obtained the surveillance video from before the shooting and body camera video from responding law enforcement. We break down the events of that night. Are you the off duty? Yeah. Where at? Uh, Truman Police Department. New body camera and surveillance video details the moments of a deadly shooting involving off duty Truman police officer Brett Williams. Stephen Hunter Allen was killed in the shooting. In the incident report from the Craighead County Sheriff's Department, around 8 30 on February 11th, Allen and his wife got into an argument on their way home from a Super Bowl party. In his wife's statement, she said Allen was intoxicated. In surveillance video obtained by the sheriff's department, Allen is seen grabbing and throwing his wife to the ground. Allen left shortly after and went to his mother's house, where he was said by witnesses to be upset and suicidal. Allen's wife, along with Williams, later arrived at the house to confront Allen and take him home. In witness cell phone video from before the incident obtained by the Craighead County Sheriff's Department, Williams is seen struggling with Allen in a living room. According to the sheriff's department, the video was taken moments before the altercation traveled outside. In the video, Williams is attempting to take handcuffs off of Allen and calm him down. Allen told Williams he shouldn't have put them on him in the first place. During the struggle, Allen can be heard saying, I'm going to shoot you in your face. No, yeah, I swear to God I am. According to surveillance video, around 11.30 p.m., the struggle traveled outside. You can see a struggle on the porch. Williams makes his way down the steps, shining a light toward Allen. Allen starts running toward him, and Williams is seen discharging his weapon twice, and Allen falls to the ground. According to the Sheriff's Department, Deputy Jacob Wright arrives on the scene around 1140 and immediately approaches Williams, who has his hands raised. Wright makes his way over to Allen, who is lying on the ground beside the house. Yeah, I just, he threw that chair. You can see the chair Williams is referring to lying on the ground beside the house. Law enforcement on the scene found that Allen had a pulse and started chest seals. First aid continued to be administered until EMS arrived. According to the Craighead County Sheriff's Department, Allen was later pronounced dead at the hospital. On Tuesday, the prosecuting attorney decided not to pursue charges against Williams and said his actions that night were, quote, lawfully present at the residence. According to a letter from the prosecuting attorney, it was determined that Williams was reasonable in his belief that his life and others were in danger of serious physical harm or death.